Not to harp on this, and thank you again for your help. But do you know whose body is under you? No idea. I don't think it matters. Just a connection to wherever. Were you... Um... Somewhere else until now? I don't know. I don't think so. You don't even seem real. This is like a waking dream. This is weird. Yes, it is. Uh, but yeah, it's interesting. The North's Canticle kind of made it into the game. It's one of the things you can have May's grandfather quote while he's in the hospital. And I think I actually picked it for the playthrough. If you can remember all the way back to the uh, first episode. Or we can just go back to it. Oh. Um, hello? Evening. Where is... Oh my god. You ain't Father Patience Forget Not God? No, he left. You're wearing his little hat. He gave me his hat. I feel so official. I hate you. Wait, why do you need to hear this? It's not for me or the mouse, it's for the shrine. Hmm. Purr. So yeah, you can say the cankle, or you can just do this. Listen, do we have to do this? I didn't try this last time, so... You need to see the forest god. Yes. This is how you see the forest god. Or try to, at least. Try to? That old thing doesn't see just anyone anymore. Those days are gone. So I just need to say the words? No one knows what you mean, they just know what you say. Fine then. In their wings, in their trees. Continue. Is it a forest god only god when I'm in the forest? This forest stretches from the hills below, over the mountains and up to where they have to build a bonfire to thaw the earth enough to bury the dead. Wow. God of this forest is God enough. Noted. Okay, um, all things die, be at peace. Continue. Sees all care they are coming. Or, why are you helping me? Who says I'm helping you? I'm just sitting here, with my hat. Go on. Cease all care, they are coming. Continue. God of the forest, carry us. Or, should I be feeling something? Something? Like, is this gonna do something? You don't feel a great sense of awe and wonder, and connection to something larger than yourself? No. Your loss. I feel that when I look at the stars. Back in the world, stars are kind of my job. We're still in the world. Still the same stars, too. Okay, let's finish this. Let's. God of the forest, carry us. Very nice. So, those snow things are ghosts? Well, they have ghosts in them. Are there ghosts? What do you think? No, what do you think? Well, I think sometimes people stay with you long after they're gone. Is Grandma a ghost now? Ha ha ha. On the best days, yes. I don't want you to ever be a ghost. Oh, May. I'll be around to see your own kids. No, you won't. Well, May, that's not a very nice thing to say. No, I mean, I don't ever want kids ever. I want two big woolly barn cats and an old hound dog. And we'll all howl at the moon. Never change, May. Okay, so you can use the shrine to go back to the forest. And there's a lot of snow in the trees here. Okay, yeah, this is a tricky place. You have to hit the red bell, which means aiming up and left. But you have to do it without falling off the cliff. Although, 
if you do fall off the cliff, it's amusing. You know what, let's do it once just for the fun of it. And then she jumped off the cliff! What? No, she didn't. Okay, you can keep doing that, and if you do, May's grandfather threatens to read Charity Barity, and if you keep going beyond that, he does actually start reading from Charity Barity. Okay, that one was close. There we go. Hello? Hello. Hello, traveler. And who are you? Adina, an astronomer. I seek an audience with the forest god. I'm sorry, Adina, but the forest god will not entertain you. Kings, emperors, ones of high import, only those I am permitted to allow through. But I'm important. I'm an empress. I may wear a blindfold, but I can hear that you are alone. And no empress would travel alone. This is highly improper. This is highly annoying. If you are indeed an empress, bring your entourage here. And we shall discuss the situation. Until then, have a pleasant longest night. Thanks. Alright, so what you have to do is build an entourage, which means building some snowmen. And there's spots for two, so... Um... Yeah. Although, again, in order for them to actually be anything, you need to get items that were connected to people. Oh, that's another annoying thing. The, like, the bump here kind of interrupts it. So, you sometimes have to go back... Yeah, you have to go back down and push the snowball again in order to get it up over that lump. Um, we do actually have... Well, no. I'm going to go back and grab the rest of the items so that I can actually make them both at the same time, so... He has gone lukewarm, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, we already picked up the bottle. Oh, we can talk more with this one. How's it going? What is going? Okay, then. Okay, that doesn't change now, so... There should be a few more things we can collect. Oh, I think we can go in here again. You let the cold in every time you open the door, you know. Okay, that's uh, all he can say for now. I remember that. Oh, I have to pick up snowballs again. Because sometimes you lose them in transition. The trees here are weird. Look to the trees. You said something about the trees? Sometimes I don't see anything but snow up there. Weird snow. Weird snow? Weird snow. I'll check it out. I have seen your future. It lies hidden in the branches. Okay, that's helpful. Bless you, my ch- Oh, you are being sarcastic. Okay. Yeah, so that's your clue for what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to- Oh, that's different. Interesting. And there's the skeleton again. Uh, there should be one more item in the trees, I think. Uh, ha. Maybe not. At least, oh, there it is. The collar. Um... Might be one other object. I there there should be a lock with a key in it. Although I'm wondering if if it picks two objects at random and the collar. Yeah, maybe that or I may have missed. I may have needed to get the lock before I went to. Um, before I went to the forest god? I, I don't know. 
Or again. Oh wait, there's the lock. Okay, so this gives us uh, four options for things. And the last time I did this, I went with the lock and the collar. So I guess I'll pick the bottle and the, uh, the tuba, or pack horn, I guess. And of course it's interesting because the the key and lock and the pack horn made it into the main game. They're things that you can find in the tunnel with Salvi. So uh, yeah, if you use the key and lock, you channel Einar the thief. And if you pick the dog collar, you get a dog, of course. I'll go, I'll go ahead and use the bottle for this one. And, um... Okay, I can do some coal eyes and coal buttons and a turnip nose, perhaps. Or, as long as it could be a turnip mouth. Or, no, I haven't done a carrot nose yet, have I? Yeah, I, I, I don't remember. Okay, we'll go with that. Hello there. Hello? Sorry to be abrupt, but I need your help. Wait, where am I? You're on the Forest God's Mountain. Because I'm going to the Frozen Lake. So am I. You're not. Oh. Oh. Listen, by my bringing you here, I think you'll be able to get out of these woods and do whatever dead people do. Okay, that sounds as likely as anything else that's happening. Okay, follow my lead. Let's do this. I'm not getting any less dead. Alright, then just have to build one more. Uh, then I, I can use the pack horn. Or wait, what if I put it there? Then I can do... What if I did turnip eyes? Do coal for mouth. Oh, yeah. There and uh, I don't know. Okay, I'll go with that. Try and make it look like they're holding it up. Hello there. Honk. Okay, wow. Are you just a horn? Honk. Let's try this. Honk once for yes and twice for no. Got it? Honk. Are you just a horn ghost kind of thing? Honk, honk. Are you the person who played this horn? Honk. Listen, by bringing you back, I think you'll be able to get out of these woods and do whatever dead people do. Does that sound okay? Honk! Okay, great. Follow my lead. Alright, so we have an entourage now. Honk! So, we need to ring the bell again. Uh, I'd better pick a handful of snowballs. This is the annoying part because, yeah, you need to... I think you need to jump. Um... Or can I... Oh, and then she jumped off the cliff again. No, she didn't. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to have to try it from back here. That's what I did last time. Because if you don't, then maybe the snowmen are not positioned very well for this. Hello? Hello, Traveler. Travelers! We seek an audience with the Forest God. I am God Tender Brown. Who are you now? I'm Empress Astra, and this is my Imperial Advisor, Williams. Greetings. And my Herald, um, Herald. Nice. Honk. Is that a Glutenhorn? A what now? 
I played Glutenhorn back in my school days. Well, what a coincidence. Is that one cursed too? What? Or, no, seriously, what? Glutenhorns hold the curse of eventual death for all who play them. Wow. An extreme misfortune for all who hear them. Honk. Clearly. And they let you play this in school? Or, but you're still alive? The curse is eventual death. My days are numbered. But that's... That's just being mortal. Honk. Yes, I'll never be immortal now. Was that a possibility before? Who knows how these things work? The boy who sat in front of me in the ensemble. He heard my gluten horn thrice weekly. He suffered great misfortune when his horse kicked my father in the head. Good God! My father had played the gluten horn before me. Oh, Stanislaus Glunden, the pain your horn has caused. Please allow us to seek the wisdom of the forest god. In regards to the cursed misfortunes, myself and Imperial Advisor Williams now anticipate. We share a curse. How can I refuse? Thank you, God Tender. Allow me. Cross onto the holy mount. Honk. I can't believe I've been sober the entire time I've been dead. Wait. Yes? I'm truly sorry, but you cannot see the forest god this longest night. Why not? I... Uh... We... Have already come so far for an audience. The truth is, and you must keep this a secret, but... But... The forest god is sick. They are old and dying. And they cannot see you. It might upset them, and we can't risk that. Sick? Or dying? I think I went with dying last time, but... How can a god be sick? I do not know. If only I knew what was happening. We god tenders are tasked with caring for the forest god. But this sickness, we have never seen its like. Not in the 700 years of records kept since Saint Cecil began tending god. Oh no. We thought when the peace came, all would be well. The peace? But centuries of conflict with her have weakened them. And not long after, they became ill. Her? Do you mean the Huncher? Do not say her name here. My heart is broken. My god is sick and old. I don't know what my life would be without them. I'm sorry, God Tender. There is nothing you can do, Empress. As representative of a forest throne, I say that no power of the Forest God shall bar your way this longest night. As for her, you are at the mercy of the most dangerous creature in the forest. Thank you, God Tender Brown. Go and take a blessing with you. 